Roblox Volleyball is offering $10,000 to the top players of the game. I hope you don't have a sweep tube because then you'll have to go to the doctor. Hey guys, it's me, Roblox Sweets, the best, and I mean the best news reporter on Roblox in the world. So make sure you subscribe because you don't want to miss out a single thing that happens on this channel. Without further ado, we're going to get right on with the video. Also, make sure you like the video. This is crazy how Roblox Volleyball is offering, like, all this money. I can't believe that it's actually doing this. I didn't know if it was for a special event at first, but it's just to show the people that play the game a lot of support and that they're appreciated a lot. Many games don't do this because they just don't care or they don't give out money. Instead, they'll give out like something like Robux game passes or something that doesn't matter. Instead, they're splitting out $10,000 between each and every single member of the team. Now, Roblox Volleyball, I believe you can play up to five players. And I know there's like a really, really big requirement just to join and to join in on the $10,000, but it makes it perfect and balanced because before they have tournaments. Now, while you are able to choose out who is on your team because it's free to every and every single person here, they're gonna have multiple admins, multiple spectators watching these tournaments. Honestly, I think this will be the biggest tournament in Roblox and will break records. But we'll just have to wait and see because honestly, I can't really tell. I don't even know how many people are actually competing. I know a lot of people think this is fake. But they have showed literal proof of Roblox paying them out over $50,000. And that's a crazy amount. If you come to think about it, Roblox has paid like a lot of content creators, but just paying $50,000 in one month is insane. Including you have to split that to your development team and you still giving out $10,000 on top of that? I wanna know how many people pitched in or who basically pitched in to donate $10,000 all to the players. Not only that, but they will have a special badge for whenever they join in game. You best believe that this development is gonna take a lot of money and a lot of time and effort just to make. I don't know how long the tournament will go on and I don't know how much people will try to join, but honestly, I feel like if they separate the game from one or another or just keep the game how it is and just be like, oh yeah, anybody can join or just look at records, such as if I win a match, then I would advance up a little. Or if someone else wins a match and I lose it, that means I will go down a match. I feel like they should have did it with the point system and not just the tournament system. Because some people can be having a bad day and showing how much they actually don't play as much. Now the reason why I say give it to the top player or clear the leaderboards and give it to the top players. is just because it gives everyone a fair advantage and a fair start from that point on. Not only that, let's say something like it was your teammate's fault that you have failed $10,000 or it was somebody else's fault that you have failed $10,000, then you can easily replace your teammate or if you want to, you can kick your teammate off of the crew. But I know that won't happen because a lot of people there will be very dedicated and they'll choose the best of the best at start. I mean, it happens at times where people get kicked off the teams and end up winning the contest. But I think that's going to be way different here because not only will people choose the best of the best from the very start but nobody's gonna really be able to advance unless you win the tournament and then from the top 10 on like let's say you're in the top 10 and you win or if you're in the top 10 you'll have to go to a tournament which is daily and even if one of your members show up short, it can make you get disqualified from the tournament permanently. So that means you would never be able to compete in another tournament ever again. I know going down the line, other people will be rewarded with other prizes, but for now we're focusing on the $10,000. Let me just say, this tournament will, and I mean it really will, be very, very intense. And I can't wait to see what's going to happen. Anyways, that's going to bring me to the end of this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you like the video if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.